the parts that make up your gears wear out at different rates and it's worth changing them as they do so because it will save you loads of money in the long run. Worn out parts degrade other parts. Now it's also worth mentioning in fact that worn out old dirty drivetrains actually feel horrible to ride as well. They're baggy and they're soggy whereas the clean crisp shifts of a good condition one will make an old bike feel like new. So how do you know when to replace the parts? Well let's first of all start with a chain because that's the one you'll have to replace the most often. It's the one that wears out first and as it does so it starts wearing away at your cassette and your chain rings and degrading them faster as well. There are two main ways of doing it. The first one is essentially to measure a handful of links and you can get tools specifically for the job. It can be quite rudimentary, essentially just a piece of metal or plastic that you pop on the chain and if it's worn out, it will sit flat with the chain. This one here tells you exactly how worn out it is. If it's 0.5, then you're okay to keep going, just, but you should think about it. And if it fits in 0.75, then it doesn't. Now, if you don't have one of these specific tools, you can actually just measure the links instead. So eight complete links measure eight inches and you can literally see the chain stretching over time and if it starts getting to a tenth over eight then you need to start replacing it. The second old way is actually pretty accurate as well. Simply put the chain in the big ring and at the forward facing part try and lift the chain away from the rings. On a good condition chain like that you can hardly see anything at all but as the chain stretches, you'll be able to see more and more of the chain ring. If you can nearly lift it clear of a tooth, then it's time to replace it. Now, as a rough guide, most chains will probably last between three to 5,000 kilometers, or about two to 3,000 miles, but it does depend on the conditions you ride in, how well you look after your drivetrain, and in fact, how much power you put out. Rumor has it, actually, that Dan Lloyd has to change his chain after every ride. What a boss. If you change your chain regularly, then your chain rings should last a really long time. But you should still look out for signs of wear as a routine. Now what you're looking out for is when the teeth of the ring start to become hooked like little shark's teeth. And that is a surefire sign that you need to replace the chain rings. But it's worth noting though that some teeth are always slightly different from the others. They're a little bit shorter and that is a design that means that it helps with your shifting. Like your chain rings, your cassette will last a lot longer if you regularly replace your chain, but it is still going to wear out. Now, one of the most obvious indicators of a worn out cassette is when the gears are skipping when you've just replaced your chain. It might only happen in one or two cogs, the one that you spend the most time in, but you'll still have to replace the whole cassette if that happens. Now, incidentally, actually, that's another reason why you should never change your chain the night before an important event like a race or a sportif, because if you only find out that your cassette's worn, when you're trying to go for the first break of the day. It's a little bit late then. You can also buy tools specifically designed to tell whether your cassette is worn out, but personally, we're not exactly gonna recommend those. There's so many different types of cassettes that it's not really practical. Fortunately, there is one other fairly easy way of checking to see whether your cassette is worn, and that is when the bike's on a work stand like that, or in fact on the floor, you put your back brake on and you press firmly on the pedals, and you'll be able to see if the chain starts to ride up on the cassette and that'll show that it's worn. We can't stress enough just how important it is to keep on top of all this. I mean, when a new chain costs 20 or 30 pounds or dollars and a new Dura-Ace chain ring costs two to 300, you can see clearly from an economic standpoint and as well as a practical one. And fitting a new chain is easy after all. We've got a video on how to do it that Dan shot and you can go to it from just up there. So to summarize then, you wanna change your chain regularly when you can pull a few links away from the chain ring. Then you want to have a new chain ring when it starts to look hooked like a row of shark's teeth. Then finally, you need to change your cassette, either when it's skipping when you've got a new chain on, or more preferably when you test it out on a work stand and you can see that there's excessive movement from the chain. No, I'm not doing it like that. Um, to get to that video about how to change your chain, click just up there. And if you need to know how to change your cassette, then you can get to it just down there. And then finally, to keep up to date with all our maintenance how-to videos, just subscribe, it's completely free, just click on me.